A woman is bouncing in a bar. Suddenly she was punched out. The guy who hit her was a cop on the case. But he had a rule. He doesn't beat up women. Last night, the woman was a man in disguise. He gave up his accomplice to the police. The fugitive was robbing a bank at the moment. Brewer rushed there when he learnt about it. The robbers inside thought they had succeeded. Unexpectedly Bull's arrival. He didn't give them a chance to negotiate. He just beat them up. And then completed the mission successfully. Just as he was about to go to the captain to take credit. The captain told him he was in trouble. It turns out that last night he accidentally. He broke the director's son's bones. The captain told him to apologize to him. So he bought a bouquet of flowers to visit him. But on his way out, an accident happened. The sound of the door closing knocked over the vase. This led to a series of accidents. The captain suspended him for two months. He even advised him to find a date and stay out of trouble. The man could never have imagined. He got 37 million in severance pay. He was so scared that he checked with the teller. He was told that it was only the interest. The principal is still more than 160 million. Brewer was shocked. Yumi was going to the arcade at night. I didn't expect these killers to be there. Bull was afraid that Yumi would be in danger. So he secretly dragged her. But he turned around and made a mistake. That's when they were discovered. After he finished with all the mysterious people. They returned to the hotel. They found their room in a mess. Then the phone rang. The caller invited Bull and Yumi to meet him. Bull agreed. But Bull asked Locke to follow him. The car not only broke down, but also lost him. Soon Bull met the man behind the scene. He knocked out the man's men. And then Locke came crashing through the wall. He almost hit him. Suddenly Locke remembers that when he pulled the grenade. When he pulled the grenade, he threw it away by mistake, and it was still missing from the bracelet. He drops it in a hurry. The two of them then make a quick getaway. The man picked up a mouthful of mustard. And then he ate it. Brewer chatting and eating mustard. Locke saw how calmly he ate it. He thought it wasn't spicy. So he picked it up and tasted it too, and it made him want to puke. At this time, Locke told Bull, she had to leave Brewer to be an undercover agent. After learning the truth, Bull thought things would be easier. The men coerced Yumi to make a transfer. The teller turned out to be Locke. He changed the account number when he made the transfer. And that's how it happened. The entire inheritance was transferred to Brewer's account. Then Brewer suddenly appeared behind him. He realized he'd been duped. He asked his men to take out their weapons. The next moment, all the doors of the bank were closed. All the customers around were plainclothes policemen. At that moment, the other party tried to fight to the death, but Bull shot him away. Soon after, all his men were taken down. In the end, Brewer left because his visa had expired. He asked Locke to take care of Yumi, 